Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Star Trek Online. The last episode I about ran and just did the next episode all in one. <laughs> so this episode we have hit level 10. Uh, it turns out that we died and we got recruited. Us and some of my crew got recruited to be temporal agents and we got a new identity. Uh, quotations, new identity. I'm not changing my name. Just saying. And uh, Jeral is going to be my name forever. Forever. Um, apparently they don't like our uniform, and I like our uniform, so I don't know if I'm going to change it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, we were supposed to talk to this dude here. Logistics officer. And we talked to him. I don't know what he does, actually. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. Follow the highlighted path to the tether. Okay, let's let's just uh, let's see what this does. So, so I'm not supposed to know anything about our space dock, because the space dock I'm used to was back in the 23rd century, and it wasn't this big or this advanced. Here we go. We did the tailors. Speak to dude. Thank you. Net finished that one. Um, this is our uniform, which we'll go ahead and modify. Good uniform. If I like any of those, we can go ahead and switch our shirt to. I think that looks more like the red shirt. Dead gun. Yeah. It's your combat badges, right? Just give me the options, but these I don't, I don't pants. Let's go with the tucked. I like the high tucked. Yeah, let's go with those. And the bulky boots. Is those the ones we want? Leather padded. Tall, loose. It says the armor shoes is the ones we have on. Um, yeah, and uh, can we add red to it? Yes, we can. Part is red for you. The whole shoot part. I don't like the shoe. The boots. Hold on. Yeah. Let's go to the bulky boots. Yeah. 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 Oh. Whoa, whoa. 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 No. 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 What did we add on? What is? Is it the shirt? It won't let me put anything else on, you know what I'm saying? No. I don't understand. 
Oh, it's this one. Oh, those are fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. That'll make me look more authentic. Now, it's sending me somewhere else. Talk to the temporal agent Phillips. Philip Cray. Okie doke. Welcome to the 25th century, Lieutenant Commander. We've been expecting you. The new cover identity is in place. Admiral Quinn expects you in his office behind me. Report to him for your orders. Remember, do not tell anyone about your status as a temple agent. Your goal is to observe and correct, not to interfere. Understand and thanks. You are now a temple agent. You have the unique traits that gives bonus to lithium ore to you and your teammates. Okay. As a temporary agent, you will be able to earn many additional rewards as you complete later missions. Cool. Okay, so now we have to report to Admiral Quinn. Admiral Quinn! Ah, come in. I've been expecting you. I've recommended you for a command position on board a ship of the line. There are several fine ships available for an officer of your caliber. Head to the shipyard to select your new ship. Then return to me for your assignment. Okay, head to the shipyard. We have also given us a skill respell token. Just in case. Okie doke. So, go to shipyard. Awesome. Let's uh, hurry this up a little bit. Congratulations on your promotion, Lieutenant Commander. He called me a different name, and I don't like that. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion. Admiral Quinn has cleared you to select a command to command. There are several impressive vessels to choose from. Take a look at my store. The starship that that are approved for your rank are listed there. Okay, so we get a new ship. Okay, so we need, what is it, Lieutenant Commander? There we go. So we have cruiser, escort, science vessel. Is it the usual ones? Yeah. It's the usual ones. And a temporal science. Um... Let's go with the escort. And we're going to rename it. And we're going to give it some fancy... Temporal... Is that how you spell that? Region. Hopefully that's right. If that's not how you pronounce it, you guys can tell me in the comments and I'll come back and change it. Temporal region. <sighs> Done. Okay. In the comments down below, make sure we get some names out there, guys. Some names for ships, alright? So when I level up, I, can, I want some kind of a time travel 
each type of names we can give for the ship each time. Alright, so comments down below. Make sure you grab those. Let me know about those. Um, now we have to go back and speak to Admiral Quinn. And then we'll come back and uh, do all the stuff to our ship as soon as we get done with the mission here. We also grab our two uh, Starfleet officers and we have to go down and talk to Lieutenant Farah at the Academy. Also in this episode. Talk to Emma Quinn. I see you chose a fine ship with a top-notch crew. One of Starfleet's best. I hope you're ready to get back out there. A situation has come to my attention, and I'd like you to look into it. Alright, so let's hit continue. Stranded in space. Let's go ahead and grab that. I received a report there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth's space dock. It may need assistance. Please talk to Malcolm Sissel. Okay, I remember this, so we we'll didn't accept that one. So, now, um, unlike the other one, we when we play through this missions, and um, there are special little things that we have to actually look for when we get on the ships. We'll also be probably uh, doing some temporal uh, investigations while we're also in the regular missions that you're used to, okay? So, um, we're not doing this one right now. Right now, we're going to do our ship. So, we need to get it hooked up, and we don't have that many funds to readily available. I might just grab some from my, uh, I just make them. I think I make them. Yeah, I might just make them. And then we'll we'll put them on them on the, on the next episode. That sounds better. I'm normally need a torpedo, uh, two heavy cannons, and a turret for the back. Uh, no, we don't want you. Sorry, sorry, the world. We want to customize our ship. Starship. Oh, we haven't switched. Hold on, cancel. Our ship. How do we have that ship? That ship should be dead. <laughs> it's, that's not possible. Alright. Um, we can reuse the stuff if we need to. But uh, let's go ahead and ready this ship. Like that. And we have some stuff here we can actually um, use. So... We're going to customize it first, and then we'll see what we have for use. Okay, so these are the three that one cost. This one's free, this one's free, this one's free. Okay, so that's the three free ones. Alright, we'll probably mess around with... Kind of an older feeling one. Standard. Strategic. Let's go with that one. Okay, window type. I think close together would be better. And which materials? Okay, now number six we can't use. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. Ooh, I like that one. Let's do four. And we'll do our usual green, white. And then we'll hit advanced here, and now we can change. Can we scroll back out? Now we can change this if we want. So the saucer. I like that one actually. The hull. I just like the Reaper on that one. And then, then they sails. There we go. <laughs> and it's got this aqua whatever on the, the thing here. 
I like that. So we're gonna. There's our ship. There we go. And now we're gonna come over here. Get this over a little bit like that. We have a temporal transponder that we need to keep a hold of. Okay, so he did give us a dual phaser bank. So uh, I do want to put that one, that one over here. Also, he gave us a photon torpedo, so we can switch that one out. And single phaser beam array. I don't think we actually need that one. He's got one on the aft here, but I think I can probably find a turret for cheap. That's phaser. Hmm. Is that all? We did get some actual um, upgrades here. Like that and I think another phaser. I'm gonna put these in the bank. I don't think we'll need these anytime soon, but uh, you never know. Um, the Type Three phaser rifle. Okay, so we do have two tactical officer so I'm thinking another engineer and another science would probably be the best um, let's give you a new shield and an actual weapon that does damage actually let's give you the rifle Tarsa can have this one there we go alright Let's go back to the ship. Uh, do we have any consoles? I don't see any. There's one. Probe? Nah, we don't need probes. We don't need no stinking probes. There we go. Okay, so let's run up here and sell all of our stuff off and then I'll jump by the bank here and uh, pull out some money so we can uh, do some stuff so mister uh, this is where I always sell all my stuff off don't need you can we go bye bye Gone, gone, gone. Science kit, don't need. Disruptor, nope. Shield charge. Major component, no. EPS flow transfer. We might use that one. That's a good one. We'll put those in the bank in case we need them. Uh, plasma beam, no. We're not using plasma this time around. Sensor probes definitely don't need. Nobody's gonna buy that. Dual phaser bank, no. Twin phaser, I'm gonna put that one in the bank because I want to keep that one. Do some hypos. Um, I'm gonna keep that one too. Come on, get these out of the way. All right, let's go ahead and grab. Okay, we're, we'll sell it. Get out of there. There we go. Now we'll drop by the bank, put some of the stuff in. Since we have access to our account bank now, we'll. I'm going to leave one out, just in case. And I want to keep this guy here. We're going to put our pet in here for now. Come on. There we go. And we'll sort. Looks, it looks good. Okay, so... Um, we can go ahead and put this guy here on here. 
It's not what we actually need, but uh, it's better than nothing. And let's see if we can afford anything just um, regular with what we already got. I don't want to have to use my uh, bank funds if I don't have to. So uh, basically right now all I want is a turn. Should be able to put phaser in front of this right here. Phaser, turret, arc, uh, IV for four. Ooh, really? Um, no, I can make those for cheaper. Yeah. So I'll just grab one off of my uh, cannon guy, and I'll jump over. I'll jump over there tomorrow and uh, make some uh, cannons for uh, for uh, some dual cannons for him, some phaser cannons and a phaser turret, and then a torpedo on my Romulan. That'll work out pretty good. Uh, so now oh, we were going to take uh, a shuttle down to talk to our uh, first complement down there. The Academy. Take shuttle to Academy. Take shuttle down. So we need to find Lieutenant Farah. We know where he's at. Also, while I'm down here, I might as well pick up all these guys. Yeah. Might as well pick up these missions. There's no reason not to. And uh, if I get into a crunch, I can always um, sell my common ones. Oh, he's this way. I can always sell my comments for uh, um, credits on the exchange. So. so here's Lieutenant Farah, which we have to talk to. Hello! Your initial complement of duty officers. Cool. Nope, that'll do it. Should be able to come over here. Now, um, some of this does cost dilithium, and we have some dilithium there, so. Oh, no, not you. Personnel officer. Some request, general recruitment. Yeah. So, not all these cost that much. Most of them is five. Oh, it's a reward, not cost. Yeah, so, so most of these don't cost anything. Just uh, the top one and I believe the bottom one there. And uh, we don't really need the R&D yet. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Because if I'm not mistaken, these take a while to uh, run. There we go. And now we're going to go over, I believe it's behind this building right here, and grab these two quests over here. Not quests, but uh, Dolph missions. Come on, what are you doing? There we go. Endurian, we'll do the cultural exchange. And the Talarite. Cultural exchange, begin. There we go. Got some good missions going. There we go. So now we're going to get two duty officers. We're going to get another. Uh, we're going to get an engineer. What do you got? 
beam jet plasma no. the science officer here tachyon gravity well okay so uh take the engineer and now we'll do the science officer definitely oh yeah join uh, that's okay for now join uh, yeah you're okay for now sweet there we go so that's going to about cover it for today I'm going to go off uh, camera and um, go ahead and make my stuff. I believe I've already set everybody up to actually um, I know I did my ROM event before we logged in here so I'll have to wait till tomorrow to make the torpedo although that is a pretty good torpedo anyway so I'll go ahead and make the cannons at least and, and uh, you'll probably be a while before you see this guy alright okay and uh, for this guy here we will be, if this dude here was not going to be uh, a, a run to uh, 60, alright? We will be doing every single mission, with uh, with a few exceptions. Like, you know, Orin 3 maybe. Well, not Orin 3. What's that one? Numbers 3. MS3. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, that's going to cover for today. If you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when we have new videos out. Come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I'll